Welcome primary teachers and students to the first coding challenge for the primary coding program. My name is Mr. Janke and today I am going to share with you some of the features of Scratch Junior and then at the end provide you with a challenge, something you're going to try to complete within Scratch Junior. So what we're looking at right now is the main page of Scratch Junior. First of all, on the middle in the middle of the page is Scratchy the cat, and that's him right there. It's making a circle around him. And he is on this area right here. It is a white rectangle and it is called the stage. So whenever we code anything for Scratchy, and that's how we tell Scratchy what to do, whenever we code for Scratchy, all of his movements are going to happen on the stage. So other parts of the program uh, that you should know before we begin. Up at the top here, we have this icon up here, and it's just by my marker, and that is the background. So maybe to begin with, I'm going to add a background to my program today. So if I click on the background up at the top, it brings up a number of different options. For today, I'm going to choose a stage, a theater stage. So right here is a theater stage. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to come over and click on the plus or the check mark, pardon me, and that will set up our stage. So now Scratchy is on our stage. Here I can move him around with my finger, and he is now on, well, in this case, a theater stage. So Scratchy's there. Now, if I'd like Scratchy to begin to move, I have to now look at my blocks, because it's the blocks that help or tell Scratchy how to move. So over here we have a yellow block, a blue, a purple, a green, an orange, and a red, and all of these blocks give us these right here, which look like puzzle pieces, and they give commands to Scratchy. So for example, if I was to take this first command right here, the one with the arrow pointing to the right, I'm going to drag that down with my finger, and notice on that, it has an arrow pointing to the right, and it has the number one. That means every time I press that block, Scratchy will move one step or one unit to the right. So I'm going to do that right now. Notice as I press the block, the block changes to a dark blue color, which means it's running, and Scratchy on our stage, which is over here, moves. And there he goes. If I keep tapping it, Scratchy keeps moving across the stage. Now, when I am done and I want Scratchy to go back to his original spot, I want to reset. So up here is a blue... Well, it's a circle with a white arrow and a blue background with an X. If I click on that button, it will reset Scratchy to where he began before I started coding. So that shows us how to reset. We've learned how to put a background on, and we've shown how we can move Scratchy. Now, I don't want to have to continue pressing the puzzle piece to get Scratchy to move. If I keep pressing, he'll move, 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 but that's too much clicking. What I want to do is to be able to click once and have Scratchy move almost all the way across my stage. So if I look down here at my blue puzzle piece, it has the number one underneath it. If I click on the number one, numbers come up over here on the right hand side. What those allow me to do is to choose how far I want Scratchy to move. So right now he's moving one step or one unit. I'm going to have him move 10. So I choose 10, 1, 0. And now if we look over here, my puzzle piece, my block coding, has the number 10. So when I click once, Scratchy will move 10 steps or 10 units. So let's see how that looks. I click on the puzzle piece, on the block coding, and Scratchy went 10. It didn't make him go all the way across the stage. He went most of the way. So now I'm going to reset him again up at the top. And I'm going to up my number from 10 to, say, Let's try 14. Let's try again, see how Scratchy moves across the stage. 14 was about perfect. So Scratchy's gone across the stage. That's terrific. I'm going to move Scratchy back. Now, what I want to do is maybe I want Scratchy to move up or down as well. So I'm going to choose an up arrow. And the up arrow is right here. There it is right there. I'm going to, to bring it down, and if I just click on just the up arrow puzzle piece, the one I just dragged down, Scratchy will start moving up. And every time I click it, he moves up one. I'm going to reset him. 
but I wanted to move up more than one space. I want them to move up four. So I click on the number and I make it a four. So what I really want Scratchy to do right now is I want Scratchy to start here. I want him to move across the stage and then move up, but I only want to click once for that to happen. To do that, I need to click my block coding pieces together like I did right here. What that will do is now when I click it, it will tell Scratchy to move 14 to the right, which is our first arrow, 14, the arrow was pointing right, and then four up. So let's see that happen now. If I click on the first puzzle piece, 14 across, four up. Okay, so that's how we can put together code or blocking code to make Scratchy move. Terrific. However, now I want to change how fast Scratchy is going to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on an orange block here now. With this orange block, it gives me a number of different options. The piece of code or the block that I'm interested in this time is this one right here with a person on it. Okay, so I'm going to drag that down. And if you notice, there's a person there and there's two lines behind them. I'm now going to click on the down arrow and it gives me three options. I'm going to put my cursor underneath the three options. It gives me a person who looks like they're almost standing still, which means they're moving slow. A person with two lines behind them, which means they're probably walking. And then a person with a number of lines behind them, which means most likely they're running. So one is really, if I think about it, slow, medium, fast. Well, I want Scratchy to move fast. So I'm going to select fast, and then I'm going to put the fast right there at the very beginning. This will tell Scratchy that I want him to move fast, 14 to the right, and then four up. Let's see what that looks like. I click on the code. Look how much faster Scratchy moved this time. Super fast. Now I'm going to reset, which is up at the top. Now I want to change it up just a little bit. I would like Scratchy to move fast and I would let, then I'd like him to move slowly. So I've got right now him moving fast, 14 to the right. Now I want him to go slowly. So what I need to do is to break my code up. I need to bring down another speed code. I click on the arrow, I want him to move slowly. So then I move. I put slow in, in there and then four. So here's what my, my code is now telling Scratch, Scratchy. I want Scratchy to move fast, 14 to the right. Then I want Scratchy to move slowly up four. Let's see if that works. See that? See how fast Scratchy starts and then how much slower he, he goes up the page. Slow. Fantastic. We've now learned how to take our sprite, to move our sprite across the page, and how to change the speed of our sprite. So I'm going to reset it. And what I'd like to do now is I want to add another sprite to this page. So I'm going to go up. And in this area here, see I have the cat, I have Scratchy, but there's also a plus symbol here. If I click on it, it opens up a number of sprites. There's a whole bunch of sprites on here. Okay, so I can go through and pick whatever sprite I want, and I'm going to pick the bat. And then I hit the check mark up at the top, and now I have a bat who I can move around on my stage. Well, the bat's gonna fly, so I'm gonna put him up above Scratchy. Notice now if I look down at the bottom of the page, it looks like my code is gone. It looks like I have lost everything for Scratchy the cat, but I haven't. It's still there. If I go back up to here and I click on Scratchy the cat, all my code comes back and I know it's for Scratchy because there's a little Scratchy down here and, and he's black and white. When I go up to the top and I press the bat, here's the bat, he's black and white now here, but I don't have any code for him yet. So I would like the bat to move across the stage, just, just like Scratchy the cat. I want him to move across, but then instead of going up, I want him to go down. So let's see, we need Scratchy, or we need the, the bat to move to the right. So the first thing I need to do is go to a blue block, bring down move to the right. And now if I go back and look at Scratchy, if I click on him, he was moving fast 14. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my bat. It may not work out. This is where I have to test to see if it works. So I bring down my speed, I make my speed fast, and I'm gonna change the number to 14. 
Let's have the bat move across, see if he makes it all the way to the end. And he pretty much does the same as Scratchy, fantastic. But now I want him to move down slowly. So I need another speed, just like Scratchy. I'm gonna make it slow, but now I wanna do the opposite. I want the bat to come down. So if I go back to my blue blocks, because they're the movement, and I choose down, and I want him to move down four. So let's see, if I restart it, let's see what the bat does. Excellent. We're gonna stop there. This is part one of the first challenge. In part two, we are going to learn how to make both of these sprites move at the same time. We are going to learn how to set them up to race. And we're going to look to add a third sprite as well.